So the reason why it's important for only um, one person to have a, you know, a unique Mohawk name is because if, if you were ever to get sick and you needed to go out and get medicine outside, when you, traditionally when you go pick medicine, you tell the medicine your name. So if you're saying your name is Gawana Honda and there's 10 other Gawana Hondas, that plant's not going to go where, where to go to give help to whoever needs it. Also, if you have like a ceremony you have to put through, the same thing. Like you're saying your name during that ceremony, so if somebody else has that name, that, you know, that ceremony is not going to know who to help or whatever. There's, there's a lot. Also, um, you say your name when you, when you die, you say, when you go up into the sky world, you're supposed to have a name. So you should be only one person with that name. So those are some of the reasons why they don't try not to duplicate names. And two, when they call your name in, um, to help out in Longhouse, like they'll call and they'll say, Goji Junior is gonna pass out the strawberry drink. So you know who it is, only one person has that name. So there might be a million, you know, Tanishas in the world, but there should be only one going to Honda. You get a name um, when you're born, you're usually given a name and you keep it until you pass away and then it goes back into the basket and usually they wait like a year before they'll give that name out again to somebody. Um, they look at the um, at the animal with the wolf and what the wolf is and um, their foragers or pathfinders um, they come up with the names regarding where the animal lives uh, like with wolves uh, they live in the woods they live in uh, they bay at the sky and the moon so we have sky names we have moon names we have woods names we have path names that's how they determine um, what the clan does is how they determine what their their names are going to be. It's the same way with the bear. The bear lives in the woods. Um, he's a berry eater. He's also a medicine person. Um, uh, so that's how they determine that. It's the same way with the turtles. The turtles live in the water near the water. Their their water names. Their sand names. Their um, sun. There they they sit under the sun. Their sun names um, where it's warm. So that's how they determine the the, the, uh, the name. They name you in Longhouse. What they say is, um, they say your name three times. So they say your name to all of the people, so all of the people know your name. They say your name to all of creation, so all of creation knows who you are. Like So the trees, the birds, everybody knows who you are. And the last one is for the Creator, so the Creator knows who you are. So those are what they say when they name you. The only time you would get denied a name is if you have no clan. Uh, like say, um, well, it, what we did was um, after meeting over and over and over again with uh, with name with people who take care of names. There's so many people now who are coming to the longhouse who have no clans or who are um, maybe a quarter of Indian blood and they want a native name. So we kind of like had to reevaluate the situation. And we don't mean to hurt people or, or, or be condescending or anything like that, but we're trying really, really hard to keep our bloodline strong again and to get it strong again. Galakwa given to be my my Ista when I was born and it goes with my birth story and, um, and the day I was born um, she said it was a warm February day 
and there was these just big um, half dollar size snowflakes that were falling out, out of the sky and when she went to the window on the sill were all these big huge snowflakes falling and as soon as um, they hit the sill uh, they melted so she called me Duat Gilako, which means um, she gathers or picks up snowflakes. Um, a boy baby, when he's named, um, the um, observers of the ceremony, um, especially on the men's side, they sing a duan for him, which is uh, a man's song, a man's journey song. And the women clap to that song, and he gets a little bit more elaborate presentation. Um, that's because uh, men in their life journey have to work a harder road and have to um, quest for greater things to find out who he is and what his role is in, in his life journey. In a woman's position and why it's less elaborate than a man's is because her position is already pre-assigned and um, even though she can have a journey sound or a seed sound, um, that's not sounding a lawn house because um, the women are automatically uh, honored and presented in that way. But um, a man has to sing his sound in order for, for that, um, uh, the spirit of his journey to open up for him.